we got the next installment of going through the Tatuate. I still am <laughs> messing that one up. Tatuate Monster Mash Cigars. T uh, today we have the Wolf. Uh, past iterations of this cigar were also known as the Wolf Man. Uh, based on the myths of werewolves. So this is a pretty cool looking cigar. I wouldn't say this is probably the best construction of the different ones I've sampled so far, uh, but still really cool. Uh, kind of a bellicose shape. If you kind of look, look around it though, it's got some visible seams on this one. Uh, I do like the shaggy foot. I think that's pretty cool. And this is definitely not the best cap application that I've seen on any of these cigars. That being said, uh, I am actually really looking forward to this particular cigar. Uh, I'd seen some uh, you know, reviews on previous iterations of it, uh, both from the Skinny and the uh, Pudgy Monsters. So it, it, I've got pretty high hopes for it. And just taking a sniff, it smells really premium. This is probably probably the more one of the more mellow ones uh, so far that uh, is kind of on the nose. Uh, I was just kind of noticing too with like when you're actually just feeling it, it almost feels like super fine grit sandpaper. Uh, fairly oily wrapper. Uh, looks like it's made out of some really nice tobaccos. Uh, and of course, it is based off of or named after uh, werewolves, which I didn't know this, but if you kind of are looking at the uh, modern history of you know vampires uh, and other mythological, you know Frankenstein, all these uh, different ones, werewolves actually go farthest back in history, uh, back to the ancient Greeks, Romans. Uh, stories as deep, you know, far back as Gilgamesh, uh, where, and the theme's pretty consistent, you have the man with these inner demons that uh, are literally expressed by them turning into a wolf. It's most of the time man going off into the forest to uh, become the, the beast within, uh, to become the wolf. Uh, one of the stories even goes... Uh, where the uh, men, as they're coming of age, they take their clothes off, they cross the river into the woods, and uh, if in the nine years that they are uh, essentially living as a wolf, and they do not eat another human, that they can then come back into the fold uh, as a man uh, and live uh, the rest of their lives as a man instead of a wolf, Although the opposite being true, if they do happen to eat somebody in those nine years, they're going to be stuck as a wolf. So uh, the, the history and lore behind werewolves is uh, deep, rich. Uh, it, it permeates so many movies. It's very intertwined, uh, particularly modernly, uh, with vampires. The Underworld series is a great uh, example of that, where the werewolves and vampires are sort of locked in this eternal struggle uh, to uh, for supremacy among themselves and then of course uh, their interactions with humans is, is very interesting but that's just uh, me carrying on about uh, literature and movies which I could probably do all day uh, that's probably better served on the other channel which will hopefully be getting kicked off soon uh, and that'll be you know just the regular cosmopolitan redneck uh, where we'll discuss literally everything so Kind of like cigars my interest in life is very varied i think you're supposed to toast these definitely reacts a little bit differently than a regular uh wrapped cigar seeing a little more flare-ups right off the bat the smell coming off it is phenomenal there we go. Now we're getting a little something. Now we're getting something. That's 
pretty delightful right away. Got a little dead spot there. Let's get that resolved. Draw on it is very good. A um, little bit spicy right out of the gate, but as with most things, the initial lighting for me, uh, you kind of get that flood of different like flavors and uh, it generally takes several puffs before it really calms down. Draw is very good on this one. It doesn't seem to have some of the construction issues that we noticed with one or two of the other cigars. So uh, we'll get to smoke it on this and uh, be back shortly. Oh, almost forgot. I am gonna run a timer on this one. Uh, that was something that uh, a couple people had mentioned to me so they can kind of get an idea of how long uh, it takes to smoke the cigar. So, this cigar is excellent. Absolutely enjoying this one. Uh, man, I'd, at this point, I'd probably put it up there with as much as I enjoyed the Frank. The draw on it has been uh, very good. Construction seems re really nice. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit wavy. That could be uh, in part to my lack of experience with a shaggy foot on light up. Uh, but has had required no retouches. Draw is really good. Smoke production, very nice. A lot of flavorful smoke you know you're able to get so you can really get a feel for what the blender intended um, it's a little bit sweet maybe a touch of citrus in there some hay grass whatever you want to call it a little bit of cocoa but very balanced um, going really well so far uh, I will say I, I do feel like it's burning pretty quickly though I haven't checked the timer uh, yet but it didn't seem like the first inch and a half really took that long to get through. Um, I haven't noticed a bunch of transitions yet as we kind of get into that uh, the second third of the cigar, but uh, that's not to say that they won't happen. It's just you know maybe we haven't gotten down far enough to uh, to have those show up. But this is a very enjoyable cigar. Uh, if you can find these separately. Uh, outside of the Monster Mash box, and I'm gonna go look for them after uh, this video is done. Uh, I would highly recommend this cigar so far. I mean, we'll see as we get uh, down a little further if it, that continues. But, um, man, I sound like a bit of a fanboy. I'm, I'm gushing a bit, but it's really good. Uh, and that's, I guess, what I'm always looking for in a cigar is like, am I sitting here enjoying this or am I like having to like think about it and am I, am I having to kind of uh, talk myself into the flavors that I'm tasting. In this case, absolutely not. I'm just enjoying it. Every puff you take is very uh, pleasurable. And uh, again, that's to me the whole point of, uh, of this uh, hobby. We'll get into that on my other channel, like how many hobbies I have and how my wife is uh, sometimes like, can you just pick a couple? Can you just slow down a little bit? Um, but I think what I really like about a cigar like that's this good is it helps you slow down a little bit. I am doing some uh, work on my laptop as I'm as I'm smoking this one, but uh, strangely I think it's helping me with the, the kind of that creative process, uh, working on some stuff for our company Warrior Spirit Coffee, and uh, the just the, adding a cigar into the mix kind of makes you slow down, uh, lets you think things through a little more and. Just kind of enjoy the time. I'm, I'm outside. It's a beautiful day in San Diego. Uh, so yeah, so far so good. We'll check back in shortly on see how that uh, second third works. And I'll get a uh, we'll do a time check too to kind of see where we're at. Uh, but uh, you know, thanks for watching so far. Stick with it. Let's see how it ends. We're getting down to the uh, kind of final inches here of the wolf. Actually, I need to get this band off here before it. Uh, when I'm starting to smoke it, that, that won't be any good. But uh, this cigar has been excellent. Um, at no point has it felt like a chore to continue smoking it. Just really enjoyable. Uh, some vanilla uh, started creeping in there toward the uh, kind of the middle to like end of that second third, and has uh, kind of made it a really nice transition. 
Uh, this is really what you look for like in a premium cigar. Uh, just don't feel bad paying the price that you pay for some of these uh, when you get to enjoy it from start to finish. So uh, that's kind of wrap up my review on this particular. We got uh, a bunch more to get through uh, before the end of October. This is a pretty ambitious project that I uh, decided to put on myself, but we always finish what we start, right? Always. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this cigar. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share with anybody you think might uh, find this even uh, informative and or entertaining. And uh, I will see you for the next cigar. Totally don't remember which one that is, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Uh, I would say of this Monster Mass box, so far I would say like my overall experience has been very good. And uh, can't wait to smoke the next one. Catch you next time. Thank you.